Hello, my name is Bethany Johnson. Today is May 25th, 2021. Today I will be discussing um, the endocrine system along with some of the glands and also one of the organs being the pancreas with all of you today. The pictures I will be showing are courtesy of Visible Body. The first one that I would like to discuss is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is this little brown bean shaped, but I think we can do better than that. I think we can zoom in a little bit more. So I also have um, another picture right here with the um, posterior portion being down here. So the pituitary gland, um, like I said, is small, bean-shaped, um, little brown area right there. Um, it is actually situated at the base, the bottom of your brain. Um, it's somewhat posterior to your nose and between your ears. Um, it appears to be hanging inferior to the hypothalamus, and the hypothalamus actually um, controls the pituitary gland itself. The gland is actually divided into two parts, being the anterior portion and the posterior section. This gland um, influences almost every part of your body as the hormones that it actually secretes helps with um, regulating other glands and important functions such as growth, blood pressure, and reproduction. Um, the hormones for the anterior portion are the follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, prolactin, thyroid stimulating hormone, cortisotropin, and growth hormone. And the posterior portion of that just releases two called antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. The next one I will be discussing is the pancreas, and this is actually an organ of the body. It is right here. Kind of um, appears to be slender and also um, almost like snake-like. Um, so like I said, um, it is a slender organ and also plays an essential role in converting the food we eat into fuel for the body cells. Um, it actually lies um, within the abdominal cavity itself, um, just medial to the duodenum and inferior to the stomach. Um, there is two main functions of the pancreas. Um, there is an exocrine function that helps in digestion and um, the endocrine function that deals with the release of hormones. The main hormones actually secreted by the endocrine gland are insulin, and glucagon, which regulate the level of glucose in our bodies, and the stomostatin, which regulates the release of insulin and glucagon. Next up is the thyroid gland, right here. Um, the thyroid is actually located on the anterior surface of the trachea, and resembles um, what people think looks like a butterfly. And I'll zoom in on that again, and it looks like a butterfly. Um, it is made up of two lobes connected by um, the isthmus in the middle. The thrio or thriogoblin and iodine are modified to make the thyroid hormones, and it can also have a huge impact on a person's metabolism as the hormones it produces as um, thyroxine, which is T4 and T3. Next up is the adrenal glands, and they're right here, kind of yellowish gold, one and then two. We have two adrenal glands. Um, there's also an anterior section and a posterior on both sides, um, which I will talk about what those are called. Um, the adrenal gland is found on the superior surface of each of the kidneys. Um, like I said, it, ap it appears yellowish gold um, and is also shaped like a pyramid, kind of like a teepee triangle-ish, almost looks like a little cap for the kidneys. Um, it contains a cortex and a mudella. mudella. Um, the adrenal cortex produces several hormones 
Um, the most important ones being um, alistrone, cortisol, and androgens. Uh, Alistrol um, actually targets the kidneys and helps increase the absorption of sodium and accelerates the um, loss of potassium. The cortisol actually targets mainly the liver, but also has anti-inflammatory properties and effects along with that. The androgens encourage um, bone and muscle growth and blood formation. Now, the adrenal medulla makes chemicals such as epinephrine and norepinephrine, which are both involved in sending nerves, nerve signals. The hormones contribute to um, blood pressure, increased cardiac activity, and increased um, blood sugar levels. Next, um, we were to discuss um, one disease out of um, all four of these glands, and obviously the pancreas is an organ, um, what can happen um, with a disease. So I chose to talk about acute pancreatitis. I do have in a picture, a few pictures to show. The acute pancreatitis is an uncommon disease that is normally characterized by acute inflammation of the pancreas itself. The pancreas, like I said, um, is located deep in the retroperitoneal space of the superior, being upper, portion of the abdomen. Gallstones are actually, to be said, um, the most common cause of acute pancreatitis, which I thought was really scary because you hear about so many times people getting gallstones, having to have surgery for them, um, or if they're able to pass them on their own. Um, and knowing that um, acute pancreatitis could, you know, end up being a cause of that um, is really scary. Thankfully, though, the mortality rate of acute pancreatitis is only like 10%. Um, so that's really good. Um, many medical investigators actually believe that the obstruction of the major papilla um, by the stone causes um, reflux of the bile into the pancreatic duct, as the presence of bile in the pancreatic duct appears to initiate sort of like this complex effect um, that ends up as acute pancreatitis. Um, secondly, alcohol is the leading cause the second leading cause of acute pancreatitis. Um, alcohol is believed to cause this by several mechanisms, um, some of these being direct toxic um, and metabolic effects um, as the small duct obstruction by the protein plug formation. An acute pancreatitis attack causes upper abdominal pain, so typically you are going to um, want to go to the emergency right away because it's going to be very fast, which acute means, and it's going to be very, very strong pain. Um, typically severe enough to require peritoneal opioids, which would be IV therapy and opioids being very, very strong pain medications. Um, the pain usually develops suddenly in gallstone pancreatitis and in alcohol pancreatitis. Unfortunately, the pain can develop over a few days which again is quite scary to me, knowing that you could be developing acute pancreatitis and not really aware of that over the next few days as the pain develops to be able to seek medical interventions and treatment. So thank you very much for listening to me talk about the endocrine system. Have a great day.